Hello Libra, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. So, doing your uh, March 16th through the 31st reading. This is going to be a general tarot reading just to see what energies or messages you may need. Can be about love, career, things like that. So, it really just depends on what's most prominent going on at the end of March here for you. And this message will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, so, you know, if the energies resonate for you, that's great. If not, you know, I also have my daily reads and the monthlies are coming up soon and the weekend reads. So you can check those out too if you like. Please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you can keep updated on my readings. Okay, I'm going to pull five cards for you. See what the energies are and then I'm going to pull um, one card from the Ascended Masters and then one from the Romance Angels deck just to... Take a look and see what comes up for you or what you need to maybe focus on during this time frame, okay? All right. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear me because I'm using a different microphone. Um, let's take a look here. Oh, I think I want to drop the energies here. Okay. All right, Libra, so the Five of Swords is here. So watch out for a tendency to have your way. Watch out for a tendency to be cocky or um, to just have to be right about a situation. This could also be somebody else as well. So the energy could be playing back and forth during this time period. Um, I just feel like somebody, it, it could be you. It really just depends on what's going on in your life right now. Maybe you would like, you want to feel vindicated or you want to feel like you, you were in the right and about a situation. And maybe you were, but you just want to be careful that you're not hurting other people in the process in order for you to have the last word or in order for, for you to be right about something. Okay. Now we have the three of cups here. So this tells me there's an energy here. Of, of some type of celebration you may be uh, going out a uh, ladies night or with some friends or families some type of event this can also be a reunion a very special reunion that brings you emotional happiness or fulfillment um, celebrating something if you're male there could be females around you who are celebrating supporting you or even if you're female the same energy as well okay um and this is also about communication or communicating with uh maybe making plans there could be maybe you're making plans or somebody's making plans to <clears throat> get together or to you know sometimes this can be uh, it's like a party atmosphere be careful of too much drinking or overindulging as well just try to stay at a particular pace yourself i guess is what i want to say okay let's see what else we have oh you have the lovers here so there there might be some kind of love union happening or a decision this is the card of gemini so that may resonate for some of you mm. You could be just in this place where um, you're determined to have something that you want. If you're single and you are looking to, to get yourself out there to wine and dine and mingle and have fun, you may meet someone while you're out there. Or it could just be that there's some prospects for you and there's an opportunity here. The, the, the lover's card is about communication and it's also about decisions so you you could also be rebounding from a relationship and going out a lot and spending a lot of time having fun and just socializing and mingle, mingling a lot but there is this this lover's card i feel that there is somebody on your mind that you have a very special union with a very tight bond with and you may be rethinking this, okay? So after, you know, going out and, you know, maybe rebounding for those two weeks or getting getting everything out of your system, I feel like you're still connected to someone. And you may want to be communicating with them or they will be communicating with you, 
Okay, so we also have the Six of Pentacles here. So there's an energy of reciprocity, generosity. I feel like you're going to be very generous at this time, giving back, giving back. As far as work too, I feel like there are many people around you who need your support and whether it's work or whatever you're doing in your life, your generosity, your sharing with others, you, you don't, I don't see you having the capability of giving too much, but you're giving enough to try to help those in lesser circumstances, okay? Perhaps financially or just sharing the wealth, so to speak, putting things into balance here. And some of you could be married and... Um, <laughs> This could be the energy of a, another person who um, your partner, if there was some kind of argument with your, whether you're married or involved with this person in some way, there could have been some, there, like an argument of some sort where somebody has to be right. But then I kind of feel like somebody just kind of takes off, like just leaves because they're mad and they go out and party and everything, but then they come back to this relationship and uh, there's like you know a realization that maybe this person your person needs to be a bit more generous in this relationship or um it's you realizing this that maybe you got very you, i feel like you got really angry you were trying to prove a point and then you just slammed the door and left but you really don't want to be away from this person so i feel like that reaching out energy will come back around where, you know, maybe you ask yourself, you know, well, maybe I was a bit selfish or maybe I was just thinking of myself too much. You know, I see somebody valuing the connection here. Definitely. So the next card, oh yeah, you've got judgment. So there is some type of reconciliation happening within the last two weeks um, of March. Now I'm going to pull clarification cards for the lovers. The last two weeks of March, there's an opening up. There's a coming to the truth, bearing our souls, bearing all of our deeds, our misdeeds, um, being open and honest, the healing energy happening here, truth coming out. Let's take a look at the lovers, see what's going on with that. Yeah, security in a family, secure, having having financial security, having stability <clears throat> in a family situation or just, you know, all around in a relationship or in a marriage. Okay, manifesting the magician with judgment, starting over, mm -hmm, opening up and starting over. All right, let's take a look at what the love message is for you. For this two week period. You have express your love Libra. <clears throat> Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I feel like this is something that you really want or you want in your life or, or you know with one person in particular and perhaps this is also someone making an apology. So maybe uh, contemplate or meditate over the next couple weeks about, you know, reaching out and expressing your, your love, how you feel to this person. Okay, let's pull another card from the Ascended Masters. What do you need to know? Work your magic, Libra. You do have that magic in you. So do I feel like you really you don't want to be away from someone, you don't want to be apart from someone, and I feel like at this time you or that person, the energy back and forth is showing that there will be this expression of love and the magic, you know, working on that, making that happen, manifesting, working the magic and the magician, manifesting truth being honest with each other, being honest with the other person, allowing them to tell their truth and hearing them out, hear what they have to say. Because I feel um, whatever was happening here with the Five of Swords, you know, all the other cards are beautiful. 
this energy here, this doesn't mean that it's something that could have, that's just happening at the beginning of, you know, the end of March. This is something that could have, this is energy that could be just residual that keeps coming. So see how that plays out for you, but definitely to focus on expressing your love and manifesting. Okay, Libra, so I hope that you enjoyed this short, sweet reading, and uh, I will see you guys in a few days. All right, take care.